Good morning. This week's theme for giving up to giving out for Lent is giving to the church. So I came down to the church to show you just some of the ways that people give to the church. The reason we have church is so that there can be a place where people can find community, people can come together and worship and learn more about God's love, and so that we can bring God's love, peace, and justice to the world. It's been a while since we've all been together here in the church, and I can't wait until the time when we can all be together again. In the meantime, I thought I would show you around and show you a few of the ways that people give to the church. Does this spot look familiar? This is where the deacon of the day greets you when you walk into church. They shake your hand and say good morning and make sure you feel welcome. The deacons also set up communion and help count how many people come to church and take care of a lot of other stuff here. One of the ways people give to the church is by sharing their musical talents. Here you see the handbells set up, socially distanced, so they can practice their bells and bring us beautiful music. Here's the choir room where everyone gathers to rehearse to sing. Hopefully soon we'll be able to sing together again. When we're back together, someone helps out in the nursery to make sure that our youngest ones feel happy and safe while their parents are up at worship. Here's the treasurer's office where Roger and Lori and Carol volunteer lots of time to make sure that all of our money is going to the right places and that we have enough to continue doing the good work that we do. During this time when we haven't been in church, Andrew's been busy painting all the trims and doing the floors and make sure that this building looks beautiful for when we come back. And Linda's been making sure everyone has all the information they need to know by communicating with people. And there are so many other people that give to the church in so many ways, even when we're not meeting in this building. All throughout this year, people have been getting on meetings on Zoom and giving to the church in ways of time and money and gifts. And all of these people are what make our church possible. You know, kids, you give to the church in ways that are really important. You are the young part of our church. You're the young generation, and you bring energy and smiles and warmth. You bring your gift of singing, your gift of, of humor, your gift of insight, and you add so much to our church community. So thank you for what you give to us. Think of ways that we can continue to give to our church. And maybe we can do them right now, or when you come back, we'll be waiting. We can't wait to see you soon and to see what ways you continue to give to your church.